Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing good. It's going to be a really quick one. I have to go pick up my daughter from uh, dance practice here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to pop on here and let you guys give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, I am, uh, I'm almost done with the template for my new setup. So I should be getting, um, you know, getting close to being able to just pop out some videos. Be five to ten minute videos every day for you guys. And plus some live streams when stuff like this happens. Um, guys, please share the stream. I haven't, like I said, I haven't been uh, posting regularly, so it's important that we share right now. And um, and as a, and I am getting back to more of a regular schedule. So um, my wife, her uh, school was over for now. Um, she's going back to college, so she's she's done with school now. So it's going to allow me some time to get back into a routine. Um, our puppy is getting a little bit older, making things a little bit easier. My daughter is doing dance, which is going to take out a lot of my time, but um, I can work around that. So um, she's also on show choir. So you guys can hear me, right? Give me a five for five. Hey, Jammer. Miss V, what's up? Mark, what's happening? Carrington this year. Carrington 2025. Thank you. Robert Lockwood, what's up? Daryl. Long time to see you, Robert. Good to see you, bud. IG, Dennis. Yeah, guys, so this is going to be a very, very quick one, okay? Um, I am going to put my chat away for now so I don't scroll off. You guys know I do that, and I'm trying my best not to do that anymore. So um, let me go ahead and just pop on here. Right here, this is uh, the Discover data. Um, and first, I want to give a shout-out here real quick to Matthew Shipley. Please go check out his. I, I left a community post to go check out his video earlier today. Hey, 7th. Um, but please go check out. He uh, he just does an awesome job. Very intelligent guy. Um, awesome setup with all the fiber optics and everything else. So he's got really good graphics and everything. He just really does a good job. So please, uh, and you're not going to get no, well, another way to say it, no BS over there either. Um, you're going to get just the space weather conditions. You're going to get what it actually is. And that's what we're trying to do, right? We don't want to add or take away from anything that's going on. So, um, and I trust, hey, hey, sister, what's up, Aaliyah? Stephanie, tab. All right, guys, um, I'm putting the chat away, so if I miss anybody, Leisure, that's the last shout-out, guys. Leisure, I got to say hi to Leisure because, you know, he's, he's, he's OG. OG here, baby. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so the Discover data might not be the best place to start. Let's, uh, let's start here with what actually happened, right? This, there's a lot of flaring going on. Now, the floor, the, the... Uh, ambient conditions are now in C class flare range as far as x rays go, um, which is not unusual, especially for this part of the sun cycle. Okay, that's not an unusual thing to see. Now, it is very, very active. You can see that it started flaring, and it's not just coming from one spot, it is coming from multiple spots here. Also, I do want to point out that these, th this bigger flare here, it did come from that the delta class. Um, so, uh, uh, sunspot and what that means is it has enough energy to produce x-class flares so we're we're going to um we'll take a look at that a little bit later here in just a second but um this did get into r2 radio blackout levels uh, it was an m7 something i can't remember the point on that i think it's seven one or seven two something like that um but as i keep moving here guys you know we had another m-class flare back here we had one here um these actually came from a different sunspot now, I've talked about longer duration ones. What's good about this one, okay, the one that just happened, um, it's impulsive, right? With, that means it's straight up, straight down, x-rays, pretty much x-ray. Um, I do believe there probably was some plasma that left the sun with that, but I don't think it's going to be anything huge. And we'll take a look at it. I could be wrong. Um, you know, we'll take a look at that as it goes. But when we see these ones that pop up and kind of slowly fade off, Typically, those are the ones that are like with, with filaments or with larger CMEs. In other words, the eruption lasted longer. Hey, Brandon. And it's it's just firing off, right? Man, I got to put that chat away. Here you go. <laughs> um, so when it does fire off like that, it does stick around, right? So when we when we see that, that's usually when we can talk about, you know, um, solar storms hitting. So, Yeah. But usually with these impulsive ones, it's typically just a an X-ray event, unless it gets into X-class, and you know those things can blow off the sun really quick too. 
but usually you'll see still a little bit of a, a tail off and you get to see that um, you know, unless the x-ray just dropped off and that's the actual tail off right there, which very well could have been, but go check out Matthew Shipley. He did, he ran this down and, and he, do, he does a really good job. So anyway, um, we are expecting some geomagnetic storming here and whether it gets into storm levels again, uh, Noah, let me go ahead and just refresh that. Um, Noah's forecasting. They're saying four on the KP here. Um, yeah. So again, those are just forecasts. Um, we, we know that they can be very accurate at times, and other times they're not so accurate. And it just there's a long distance between us and the sun, and there's a lot of variables. And we don't have a whole lot of data collection between us and the sun. Um, so, you know, we just got to do the best that we can. And technology is getting better. You know, with seismic activity on the sun, they're able to map out what they think the back of the sun looks like, which is very cool. Um you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that at a later date, but this, this sunspot here is the one that did the big one. This one over here is very, very active. Okay. Um, so that's the one we're going to be keeping an eye on. There is one facing us right now. Um, it looks a little unstable. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to do anything. We'll have to wait and see, but, um, yeah, with that being said, let's go over here and let you guys see what's going on. Obviously I should have been doing that from the, from the get go. What the? Why is it not letting me? Uh, oh, that's weird. Oh, I was in May. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, let's just go ahead and look at it in the 131 because sometimes that'll give us a really good look at the the flares, and you'll see some uh, plasma leaving if it happens. Watch over here how active this one is. That's where you're gonna see it first, probably. See that one? That was that was not the big one. The big one's over here. It's getting ready to happen. Well, oh, made a liar out of me, didn't it? Did it already happen there? I could have swore that's where that, that flare popped off of. I could be wrong. It's the first time I'm looking at SDO, but I could have swore it came from this uh, sunspot. When did that? I could be completely wrong here, guys. It's the first time I'm looking at SDO, so I don't know. I'm, again, I'm just trying to, to piece this together, and that probably was that uh, M-Class flare there. What time did that hit? Let's go back here for a second. I don't want to give you guys the wrong info. That happened right around, yeah, so that's probably, well, May 1st. Did I go out far enough? Let's see here. Let's pause that. Yeah, that's far enough. Happened right around noon, so I tell you what we'll do. Here, see, this is why I thought it came from right here. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's not showing it right here. What time did it ha exactly did it happen? This is uh, spaceweather.com. You guys know I love this this channel. Doctor Phillips does a great job over here. Go give him some love. But, yeah, so there's that flare. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why SDO is not showing it. I might not have the right amount of time up there. Um, but there it is. That's where it came off of. Um, it did come from that AR-3288, which does have the energy to do X-Class X flares. So um, we'll just leave it at that. Let's go over here to Siege real quick. Oh, cool. Thanks, Matt, Adam, Marf, Marf, Marf is in the house, baby. Love you, Marf, if you're listening, brother. You and Dex, Marf Fugel, Fugel fan for life, baby. Anyway, let's, let's check this out on the first. Yeah, see that? Um, that definitely did. that. This bigger eruption right here is most definitely from that flare, looks like. Let's see what time it popped off of there. Yeah, I would, well, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say definite here, but... Regardless, it does, doesn't really look like it shot a whole lot of plasma out. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot coming at us. Hey, Ripper. And, um, but yeah. So, please, guys. You know, I'm going to be giving you guys an update tomorrow um, on exactly what's happening here. Because I don't think we have a, a good enough amount of data yet to really get a good idea of what's going on. Um, and I'm gonna, I don't want to just jump the gun and say, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Um, you guys know I don't do fear here, and that's just something I won't do. Um, I do get things wrong sometimes, and I do apologize for that. 
Um, but oh yeah, I want to address a comment. <laughs> you guys go back and look. I pinned the comments. And I think it was my last video. Um, I'm not calling anybody out. This isn't why I'm going to even bring this up. But I do. I do want to address it in the in the sense that um, they said, "Hey, we're still here, and nothing happened." Well, that's wrong. <laughs> we are still here. And I never said we weren't going to be. I never said anything really extremely bad was going to happen. As a matter of fact, I was saying the actual opposite of that. And the other thing that I was saying was we did have things happen. We had an uptick in electrical fires. We had an uptick in a whole lot of uh, data that we look at. And I'll bring it back up to you guys in my next video. Um, we had um, nuclear power stations actually during this event, like days later, and that's what happens sometimes. The energy hangs around and it causes things to trip out. So that's what happens. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. With that G4 storm, we did have things happen. We had Aurora in Mexico. So, yeah. We also had Steve show up. And I'll go into what Steve is later. <laughs> it looks like Aurora, but it's not. It's just extremely hot. I'll go into that later. Anyway. Um... Actually, if you guys go here to, to spaceweather.com, you go back to the previous day here, you'll be able to see it. Okay? Um, let's go back to April. Oh, I, I put 31st there, didn't I? There ain't no 31 in April. Oh, what an idiot. Yeah, go ahead. You guys can call me an idiot over that. Here's Here you go, right here. Okay, um, this is what this is what they're talking about here. This is something else. This is uh, yeah, SARS. I'm I'm sorry, not Steve. Steve is, Steve is a type of aurora. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, but yeah, these are they're not auroras though. And guys, go over and check this out. This is really cool info to have. It looks like aurora, right? But it's not. It's really really super hot stuff, and you know, like three thousand degrees. I think it was uh, was it Fahrenheit or Celsius? Anyway. Um, but I do want to go ahead, guys, and uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and pop off here. I have to go get my daughter. But I want to give you guys that update. And, guys, please, 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 please go check out Matthew Shipley and everybody else here that's, that's always been supporting me here for a long time. Um, I am going to go ahead and bump off, guys. God bless. Yahusha saves. And, uh, yeah, you can drink this Kool-Aid, and I will be back tomorrow, maybe even later on tonight. Just depends. All right, guys.